linear equations. Some of these examples that I do, they've been tested in the past in KCSE exams. So go and practice such uh, problems. Let us look at this example. 1a. Write an expression in terms of x and y for the total value of a two-digit number having x as the tens digits and y as the units digits. Write an expression in terms of x and y. For the total value, look at this line. We have place value and we have total value. For the total value of a two-digit number whose x, uh, uh, I mean, having x as the tens digits and y as the units digits. Units digits learners also ref uh, referred to as ones digits. Ones digits are y. Uh, tens digit uh, is the x. And then for the learner, you can write that x is the tens digits, tens digits, and y is the units digits. This is the place value. We are talking about place value, units digits or y's digits. Units of y's digits. So how do you write this uh, number using the two digits? We write y is in the unit digits, that is the ones digits. Then x is in the tens digits. This is our number. So our number learner looks like that. x, y. y is the ones digits or unit digits. x is uh, in the tens digits. Then, from there, we are told to write down the total value. Total value. How do you write the total value of this? Total value, given place value. Total value will be what? X is the tens digits, and therefore we say X times 10. X times 10 gives us 10X. Y is the ones digits, ones digits. So it is y times 1 gives us y. Then you add. You add. So this is the total value of our number. y times 1, y. 10 times x uh, gives you 10x. So that is our total value of the number. We go to part B. That was A. That was A. Part B. The number in A above. The number in A above, this number here, is such that, uh, is such that three times the sum of its digits is such that three times the sum of these digits is less than the value of the number by eight. How do we write that in short? Three times the sum of its digits x plus y, the sum of its digits, line, this one here, is less than the value of the number by 8, is less than the value of the number by 8. What is the value of the number? The value of the number was this, 10x plus y. If we can remove this bracket, we'll get 3x plus 3y. Three times the sum of its digits, which is this, is less than this. By what? By 8. And therefore, Lana, it means that this value here, total value, is greater than this by 8. This one is greater by 8. Meaning, the difference between this one and this one is 8. What do we mean by that? If you took the greater value, this one, then you subtract the smaller value, like that learner, you should get what? 8. 
you should get it. Then remove the brackets, so this is 10x plus y minus 3x, Lana. Take care of this as you remove the bracket. Minus times plus, Lana, gives you what? Minus 3y, look at that, gives you 8. You put the right terms together. 10x minus 3x gives you what, Lana? 7x. Then y minus 3y. y minus 3y gives you minus 2y. And therefore, this is equals to 8. It's equals to 8. Lana, we come up with an equation here. Let us label it as equation 1 as equation 8. One. Lana, we continue with our uh, question here. We continue with our question. Continue with our question. We are told, so that is equation one, because of space, and grab this, begin with that equation there. We continue. When the digits are reversed, if you reverse the digits, remember our number was x, y. If we now reverse, we will read it as y, x. So if we reverse the digits, the value of the number increases by 9. If we reverse the digits, the value of the number increases by 9. So like our original number was x, y. Reversing. Reversing the digits line, it will be y, x, y, x, like that. What would be the total value of this y, x? Total value, what would it be? It would be what? y times 10, 10 y, 10 y, x times 1, just like we did in the very first one. x times 1 gives you x, then you add. This is the total value of the number. So we are told, when the digits are reversed, Lana, the value of the number, I mean, the original value, the original value here, Lana, was 10x plus y. When the digits are reversed, the value of the number increases by 9. This number here increases, this value here increases by Nine increases by nine as it forms this one. So we can say that the original value, this one here, the very first one, is therefore less than the number which is formed, the value of the number which is formed, 10y plus x, the new number now. By what? By nine. Look at that. When the numbers are, when the digits are reversed, the value of the number increases by 9. So it means this original value is less than this value, new value now, by 9. So again, lambda, it means that this one here is greater. And therefore, taking the greater number, or the bigger number minus the smaller one, you should get 9. So we do that. The greater number is that. You minus, and you put a bracket as you minus, you are subtracting everything, minus the smaller number should give you 9. Get that right, Anna. The new value is greater. So you take the new value, you subtract the lower value. And therefore, the difference should be 9. Okay, remove this bracket. Remove it carefully. Look at that. So minus times plus ln again becomes minus y is equals to 9. From there, put the right terms together. This minus this gives you 9y. Okay? x minus 10x. x minus 10x gives you what? Minus 9x. Right? Gives you Divide this equation by 9 to simplify it. Divide here by 9, divide here by 9, divide here by 9. Learn, you get y minus x is equal to 1. 
we have got our second equation here. Our second equation. And remember, we had the first one here. So learn to get x and y, you solve these two equations simultaneously. Let us do that. We solve them simultaneously. So the two simultaneously. So we take the first one, it was 7x minus 2y is equals to 8. And the second one, this one here, Lana, start with minus x. So that we are in uniform with this one here. So you write minus x plus, plus what? Plus y is equals to, uh, is equals to 1 is equals to 1. So learn, solve this simultaneously, maybe by elimination method, multiply by 1 here, multiply by 7 here. So learn, we want to eliminate x, and therefore this will be what? 7x minus 2y is equals to 8. The second one, remember, multiply everywhere by 7, so you get minus 7x, so this is minus 7x plus 7y is equals to 7, okay? Then, to eliminate now the x's, what do you do? To eliminate the x's, here we have 7x, and here we have minus 7x. To eliminate the x, to do away the x, you add. You add. Because, Lana, 7x plus minus 7x, 7x plus minus 7x will give you what? 7x minus 7x, which is what? Which is 0. You will have eliminated your x. So, Lana, this becomes 0. That becomes 0. We continue. Minus 2y plus 7y, Lana. Minus 2y plus 7y gives you 5y. And then we go on. 8 plus 7 gives you what? 15. So learn. We are almost there. Divide by 5 on both the sides. And therefore your y is 3. Your digit y is 3. What about the x? To get the x learn, you go to one of the equations and substitute your y. Suppose you go to the second one here, minus x plus your y, which is 3, is equals to 1. Okay, you substitute y in the second equation, not even in the first. So minus x is equals to 1. Take this to the other side, it becomes minus. So minus 3. So lambda minus x is equals to 1 minus 3. 1 minus 3 is what? Minus 2. Now that we have minuses on both x, we cancel them out. And so your x is 2. So the question is, Lana, find the number. Find the number. What is this original number? What is it? Our number, Lana, was xy. The original number was xy. Our x is what? Our x is 2. Our y is what? Our y is 3. And therefore, learn this is the number. That is the, the original number. So learn. Go and practice again on linear equations. They are normally tested in exams. Remember I've told you that this is a KCSC problem. God bless you.